Ooh, I want that. I want that, because I got hurt earlier. But I don't want to turn off the very limited lights we got in here. I don't know what this place is, but it must be some place that we never got access to earlier. Can we go back up this way? To get out of here? Seems like that might be difficult. Is that the Dunbat? Man, Catherine realized that something was wrong, but she didn't even tell me. Maybe that's not what she realized. I don't know. Oh. Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Oh! Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? Walk? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. Alright, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Oh, thanks for the lights. You didn't know how to get us on? I was gonna say! How difficult could it be? Yeah, like what? We're just going there with no real plan? Encouraging. Whoa, what did I plug in? Booting Alk. Booting Arc Alpha. Whoa! 43% corruption. What the hell? Uh, maybe we'll look around a little bit first. I don't know what's necessary or not. Double spiral. <laughs> Talking about the little logo there. Oh, the survey again. My decision. Ooh, Catherine. I have decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. Well, better a half-baked project than no project? What's left? Apply interface module, seal R capsule, ask permission from 4Q. Brief, Iveshkin, Lindwall, Peterson, Pedersen, and Hill. Take shuttles to Omicron. Pick up power suits. Ride the climber into the abyss. Regroup at Tau. Head to launch site. Load the bullet. Launch arc. So we have a specific set of instructions here. Maybe that will be good for later on. Arc locator. Arc Locator. Yeah, we know it is at Tau, but it needs to be at Phi. And we're here. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out the short survey. Recently, it was decided that the Arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties, despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Mm. I don't know about the ARC project being the sole option, but I do agree that the ARC project is probably a better use of time than the staff continuing to do whatever the hell they were doing before. So, agree. 
To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. You know, I understand that they are wording this very specifically to get the effect they want, but this is not a very good survey. They're very clearly trying to sway you with certain wording. Saving mankind? Who would not want to save mankind, right? But yeah, I, I mean, if you put it that way. No matter how severe. It's temporary, it might be the next 30 years, but it'll stop one day. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess so. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MiG-7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Oh, I guess I never questioned it, but it doesn't have to be in space, does it? It's only going to space because Earth is kind of not doing so well right now. I mean, if, if your goal is to survive for thousands of years, sure, I guess, yeah? The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Are disease and mortality the only things we're losing here? Because if you say let's get rid of disease, I don't think anyone would say that's a bad thing. Anything else though? We're losing a true physical experience. Can we even have children? I feel like we can't, not in the traditional way anyway. You might have a couple on the Ark they go to a shop and set up the genetic code for a kid? Like, I don't... I think I might put strongly agree for this one. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. That's not even enough genetic variety, is it? A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences. Oh, that would in every way appear to be human but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think that even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Whoa, we're getting into like slave territory here. <laughs> um... They would look human, but be dumb. Not dumb, but naive, logical not really emotions-based, at least for now. I don't know about that. Uh, it would benefit the society in the way that the 55 people have more people to interact with, have someone else to do the manual labor and whatnot for them, but uh, disagree, maybe. Oh, are these real time? I guess not. Oh, ARC approval. Strongly agree. Most people strongly agree. Eternity among the stars. Sure? Wow, so this was unexpectedly positive. Ooh, the inferior companion one is a bit split up. Yeah. Pain for gain. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe people were worried about how much Part of the problem here was the way they worded it, okay? Nobody strongly disagreed. Everyone thinks saving humankind is the, the end goal here. Artificial evolution. What was that one? Strongly agree? What was that one? This one's pretty split too. Oh, I forgot the question. It's my colleagues. Uh, I can't remember the question, but I'll, I'll figure it out later on. All right. Hmm. Has Catherine ever taken it? But she's the person who made it, so she would agree with everything. Beth Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. 
Let's do it. Prep arc with signal transmitter. Power packs. Okay, so Omicron, Tau, Phi. Phi is where we launch the arc. Phi is the goal here. Okay. Haimatsu power suit. We want to find one of these later, huh? Put on the neoprene undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damage. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with a back piece and a torso. Tap the secure button. You should hear the suit seal itself, blah 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 blah. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers. Note, the Haimatsu power suits are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Ooh, okay. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Wow, the paper is entirely orange. Hmm. Okay. For going into the abyss. Check in Tao. Anyone alive? That's depressing. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. <laughs> the situation is so morbid right now that we could use a few more jokes. I don't mind. So we have Catherine on the right. I can't read their signatures. Pedersen, Ian, and then Hill? Someone Hill? I can't read this. <laughs> okay, well, cool. Five people. Extra oxygen. Power packs, tools. Yeah, prep arc with signal transmitter. Not sure what this is. Some sort of a code. Alright. Apparently we can plug this into something too. Maybe this right here? It's a little short. Can't press it, no. There's two. Well, we don't need to plug that in. Hmm. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside <laughs> it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the arc. Well, I'll give it a try. Is that a problem, though? We are already a brain scan. Don't you just, like, pluck me in there? Is that not how this works? <laughs> this isn't gonna hurt, right? Better not. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Yes. It's like going in for an x-ray. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Sounds comfortable. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard Cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? What? The structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. <laughs> anyway. Mm? The Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, 
I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. I don't know how to feel about this. No wonder I haven't been going crazy, but technically, the whole structure gel thing being forcing or uh, forcing the stuff into my skull? Then doesn't that mean that I'm basically one of WoW's creations? Oh, I don't like that. No wonder I like this stuff so much. I'm not gonna use it though, because I want the lights on. Okay, um, we can check this out, maybe? No, we can't. We can't. We gotta figure out this thing here. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Okay, so we just pick random modules then? We are running out of memory, so we have to just take something out. Anything out? Well, I feel like we probably want the vegetation? Objects? Soma, hum. Human. Soma, we never talked about this, but Soma means body in Greek or something. That's all I know. Um, the clouds are taking up too much space. Can we just... Oh? Do we need that? I'll just go one by one. We need that. We need that. Making assumptions here. These are all required, pretty much. Not that one. Okay, we're still a little bit over. Can we not just take it off and see? Yeah, no, we gotta have... Can we get the basic one? No, we have to get the advanced one. Soma? What's this one? Uh... Light. The names are not the same, are they? Soma Hum require- Oh, package Soma Human requires type light source. Light source? Ah, it tells you! It turns green when you roll over it. Oh, but you only need one variation. You don't need all of them. So I gotta take the one that's smaller. Yeah, okay. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. Oh... Did you say dummy? Can I not pick one of these? Better not use real data. I don't want to repeat what we did to Brandon. Second that. Fair enough, fair enough. World time. It's like a video game. Did you want me to pause it? You need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. How do I know when the dummy is loaded? Pausing it when the dummy is loaded. Like when it says dummy here? But it's so fast! You need to catch it while it's being loaded. Oh my god. No, try again. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Maybe I'll just turn this off. Oh! Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> god damn it! There we go. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. <laughs> so you got it or what? Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. 
I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. That's all we needed. Okay. Hmm. I feel like we should be able to see more here, but, you know, we can't. No, yeah, even if it's a dummy, I guess we should cut it out. Okay. So this here, these pipes, I thought we could do something with it. But it doesn't go far enough. This one's too far away. Oh, it's so close. Not quite enough. Well, I guess we're going to Omicron then. You can take that now. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? A little shriek of happiness? Hey, everything still works. That's a rare thing. Okay. So, do we take a shuttle or... Didn't even swipe. What about this one? This one's off. Permanently. Ooh. I mean, I guess we don't have to crouch like this. But the darkness scares me. Can't go in. No foreign contaminants. What was this site originally used for again? Oh shit! It's a dead person. Dispatch. P. Strasky. Very nice. Ah, uh, that's also very nice. Omega management. Why is it dripping there? I think we need to break the window. But I'm gonna look around a little bit first. Again. Oh, remember the map that we saw saying that there were a lot of black box signals down here. We can't access any of their memories though. Oh! Gasping for. If I, if I take this, can I help them out? Well, we're spending longer and longer in there, it feels like. Oh shit, oh shit! It's right there. That's not one of the blind ones, is it? Yeah, I took that, but they're still alive. I really want to kill those ones if I can. Okay, if we break the window, that thing is coming. Where did we come from again? Can I get a handle on my bearings first? 
I think we came from here. So, over here there was nothing. Okay. We have to throw something at the window. And then hide. What about this? Oh, what the hell is going- What? They were like halfway fixing this. Stromer! Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked, and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Fine. That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be the hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. I thought Juan was back at Delta, but no. He might be the one sitting on the chair. Insert connector chip. Uh. No. Okay. All right. I don't know where it is. sure the Ark makes it. Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to care about on an emotional level. It's like sending a smartphone into space. Who cares? We'll be okay, as long as we don't make loud noise. It's gonna be hard though, because this area seems like, up until now, the areas for exploration and the areas for monsters are pretty separate, but this one seems to blend both of them. Survival of the fit. I close the door. We should be okay. Yeah, I'm being paranoid. I don't know who they are. Employees down here. Okay, I gotta be careful of that. This one? I don't know which one it was, but uh... We can hear it walking around. Fuck! Okay. Oh. I'm just wondering, I'm thinking here. For the proxy, it was blind, but it was activated by sound. This one, I don't think we can see it. Like we can't look at it. Payload. Where the hell is this? Too linear for my liking. I'm walking too damn loud, Simon. <laughs> Oh, this area is huge! We're not touching that. And we can't. I feel like the end goal is to get the connector chip. So we should be okay even if we go up here, right? Just kidding, you can't go up anyway. Okay. I'm 
No good. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. My guess is that it's around there right now, but I don't have a way to confirm anything. We need to get into that room though. I don't really want to go to a location where I know it's likely that it's there. <laughs> we'll wrap around the long way. No, it's coming here. Where is it? I feel like I'm hearing it everywhere. Holy. Oh shit! This room sucks for hiding. Okay. Oh, it's just the... The projector making a sound. I thought it was trying to like, jiggle the doorknob or something, which doesn't even make any sense. There's no doorknobs here. Ew! What is that? Research findings? Oh, what is that? Ew. Oh. I wish I had a map. I wish I could see outside. Not knowing where it is, is worse. What the heck is wrong with these weird computers? Whoa. We can't get out this way. We can only get out the way we came from here. Hangman? Golem? Quantum... Quantum... Something. Something something M, something something T? Not sure. The first one sort of looks like bladder, but I know it's not. Hey, forget about Hangman. We gotta get out of here. It's worrying me that we can't hear it. That either means it's really far away, or it's learned to become quiet. Whoa. The vents. Security. Strawmire. I hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. Akers? We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll look back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle. We'll be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See the show. Didn't plan on it, but it happened. Hold on though, Acres. Acres and his gang of critters? 
So I think that may be our first real confirmation that the employees are turning into monsters, but then where the hell are the other critters coming from? Yeah, I mean, that's not too big of a revelation, seeing as how they're all humanoid shaped. Oh my god. These are all dead people. The exes. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six alive as of when the guy crossed this chart out. Uh, Alice? We can hear it walking around pretty obviously, so I think that's a good thing. Jesus Christ. Checklist. Survive the Ark Project. Stop people from killing themselves. They can't open doors. Oh, it's right there. You can kind of see it behind that. Oh my god. Is it blind or not? I don't want to find out. What is this thing? We gotta be quiet. We gotta be quiet. Number one, survive ARC project. Number two, stop people from killing themselves. Number three, send off C and the team. Four, keep people safe. Five, enjoy the rest of Armageddon. I like the wording, survive the Ark Project. Like it's a very cruel ordeal that he has to struggle through, <laughs> even though it's supposed to be paradise. Acres is not alone. At least three proxy creatures. Check and seal doors. Move downstairs, shuttles to Omicron. Is the one that we're looking at Acres? Well, if we could get close enough, then maybe we can see if it's blind or not. Actually, all of them are blind, right? So, I don't know if we can really tell if it's Acres or not. Hey mister, could you show me your, your work ID? Show me that you have authorization to be here. Probably look at the computer. Oh! a map. Yeah, no shit. Uh, we've been to the place- Ugh, I can't use my mouse here, but I do recognize we are at the security checkpoint right now. We were at the payload design when we were looking at the hangman. Conference room is the room with the projector. Okay, okay. So we have the medical lab, rest rooms, archive behind us, exam room. There seems to be a whole bunch of little rooms to the right side. I don't know if we can get in them, but uh... We will check that out as we get over there. Cool. I have a little bit of a predicament right now where I don't want to miss things, but I'm also kind of scared, so it's like, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, over by door lock. Jesus. Security messages. Corrupt, 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 corrupt. Alert. Machine hanger. January 11th. Huge structure gel leak has caused the WoW to seize control over the Dumbat. Ah. Forced to quarantine to avoid further development. Last thing we need is another talking machine. Welp, too late for that. And cause Catherine got scanned in really early, I guess she never got the memo on this. Okay. Key control. Key control. We need the connector chip for the elevator. So does that mean that when we get it, we come here and put it into this thing? Maybe, maybe. Oh. System malfunction. Lock limits active. Remaining resources. Ah, okay. So we can unlock and lock certain things. We can lock this one. There's nothing in there. If that will help us open this one. Yeah. And then... We lock this door. Can we get out? I'm just seeing if there's any more... Not really. Yeah, so we can just keep this one on. 
Uh, oh, this one is, uh, it's broken in. It doesn't need a lock. Okay, so if I'm seeing this right... Oh, doctor's office. Everyone was telling me, go find masters, go find masters. I found him, or her, but it's too late probably. Okay, no other doors here. Oh, I can get out. Um... Yeah, we'll come back with a chip or something. Okay, this probably means that I don't have to throw something at the window to open the, the lock. Those freaking vents are so scary. Wait, why is this open? I'm sure this wasn't open before. Does that mean that he came in here? Oh, two doors. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. I'm pretty sure it wasn't open though. Because I remember it being yellow. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's make haste. Examination room, did they say? Remarkable connectivity. Neural patchwork. Meet downstairs at the shuttle. Gel consumption. Acres. Initially... Reconstructive. Unnatural growth. Symbiotic attempts. I'm scared to turn on my flashlight. Yeah, okay. Who's walking up there? That map? I needed to have taken it with me, okay? Oh, doctor's office. Everything has multiple doors. Which is good, and also bad. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh my... Duh! This is not... I have trypophobia. Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first Oh. Mm. Uh oh, that's what I'm doing. all the people. I really hope the doctor is still alive, but uh, I think the one that we've been seeing is Akers then. Jeez. Look at how matter-of-factly she was talking about him gouging his eyes out. Infected functions. D4, E4, E3. Oh, like his hand is swollen. His leg is broken. His brain is fucked up. Remotely controlled. Is the WoW remotely controlling him? I wonder how much of him is even left in there. That's his brain. Ooh. Eating structure gel makes WoW control you. Okay, forget about the first aid. Oh. 
hell? Shit. It's Masters. But she's not even tied to anything. I thought they were physically being constrained by the goopy crap, but she's just sitting here but not dead. Oh shit, man. Oh my god. I don't feel comfortable looking at the computer with the door behind me. Acres, January 16, 2104. 66. One of the worst cases I've seen, and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged up his insides with structure gel. I'd be surprised if he ever woke up from the coma. Surprise! Did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that WoW somehow able to change and rebuild the... Oh, it's reverse chronological. Let's go back. Conrad. Conrad is dead. He boiled his brain to pulp with a Y or a W rem maser following the ARC neuroscan. Clearly another continuity enthusiast killing himself to take his place on the ARC. Chun. Cool. She's not dead, but she came in for an appointment. As usual, Chun is quiet and does her best to avoid eye contact. It's kind of socially awkward, huh? She doesn't seem to want to be here, but Strawmeyer demands another evaluation. Chun isn't obstinate or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Catherine Chun is weak in character, the perfect victim to be domineered and pushed around by others. She is a scared mouse I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. <laughs> the, the way the doctor says it is kind of like judgmental and stuff. Catherine is weak in character. I don't know about that. But um, you know how in the... What's that place called again? Lambda, I think? Okay, hold on. If we're gonna talk, I need to get in the corner because I don't want the door behind me. Catherine, when we were at... Shit. Oh, shit. We're in the room. We're fine. When we were at Lambda, there was a log on the coffin that said um, Catherine was surprised that Reed likes her. And then earlier, when we found out that we're occupying Imogen Reed's dead body, I think she wanted to say she's my friend or something. But I guess she might have been hesitating because that's what social anxiety does. <laughs> maybe she thinks that they're friends, but maybe Imogen doesn't, or Catherine thinks that Imogen doesn't. So maybe that's why she was surprised to find that Imogen liked her. Okay. You gone? Heart. Vanessa Hart. Hart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bruises and mild hypothermia caused by the long walk. It's difficult to corroborate her story, as she is the only one to return. From? From what? Hart? Was that someone back at... I keep forgetting all the place names, because they're all like Greek letters and stuff. Um... Where was Acres from? Delta? Is she from Delta? Hard? I'm really sorry. I wish I could kill you or something. I need the map. Buddha. Wait, why is there so much blood coming in here and then she's on her chair? How does that work? She got hurt. She got hurt by Acres and then she sat down here? Oh, there's a map again. Uh, we are in... We are in the exam examination room? I think so? Wait, yeah, no, what the hell? So, I think there might have been a restroom behind us if we go back all the way to the very top. Oh, there was an archive behind the security point that I want to look at. So... Let's hurry.
Oh, but it's... Yeah, there's a reason why it didn't go earlier. Jesus Christ. What? Is it coming? It seemed like you could go behind. Well, the map doesn't account for the place messing up, so I guess it's just not there. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's hurry up and go to the office thing. The main office? Which is right here. I want to see what's here first. Oh, we're back here. Okay. It freaks me out that I can hear people gasping. It's the people. Yeah, there's two people in there. I don't know if we explored everything, but I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> hey, he looks kind of... Like, you can tell who he is, unlike the other people. Oh, it's the chip! Okay, we're not gonna... We're gonna touch that last. Critical system failure. Oh, Brandon. I hope Alice is okay for your sake. Yup. Ah! I'm sorry about before, ah. Brandon. I'm sorry we couldn't let you rest in peace. Oh. locked himself in here. Yeah, the fact that we were talking to a somewhat alive and well Brandon earlier. Earlier, and now that we see his physical corpse like that is kind of not very cool. Are you gone? I'm done, okay? I'm done. We tried this once, it went really badly. I know the elevator is right there, but... Oh, do I need to freaking go to the security point first? Because it said insert key or whatever. Okay. Screw you two. It's okay. I know this place. Inside out. Wait. If the computer is not on. Yes, it is. Screw you. Screw y'all. Yes. Connector chip detected. Update!
Did it hear the computer beeping? What? Oh, <gasps> they can open doors. Oh my God. Now I can't even see it. Shit. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's updated. Cool, we're good to go. I... Yeah, okay. I don't... <laughs> I didn't need to know that they could open doors. That was not... Not knowledge I wanted. Okay. Well, now that we can't see it, it's so dark. Makes it really difficult. Okay. Is it blind? Holy shit! I guess now we find out. Hear no evil, see no evil. Okay. Well, yeah, because then earlier it said acres and his critters, right? The proxies. So I think acre is a proxy. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, acres is blind. Yes, he's blind. We already know this. Still doesn't make me any less scared. He looks a little bit different from the other proxies, though. I don't remember the other ones having arms and stuff. It's to our right. Our right. Our right. Forward, forward, forward. I might want to run normally, but I know that he has very good hearing. Okay, what do we do now? Put the shit in there! Ah. There's something not hooked up right. Oh my god! Oh! Come on, come on! Go, oh, and then, and then, and then what? And then what? I guess I didn't fix it properly. Fuck! What's missing? Oh my... Oh, there's one more. One more light that needs to be... <laughs> Why won't you work? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> See ya! See ya, sucker! Woo! <laughs> Transport! Transport! <laughs> Are we moving? <laughs> we made it. We made a gang. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> yes, I'm emotionally stable. Thank you for asking. Look, man, all I wanted to do was go to Omicron, okay? Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> okay, we're saving that for next time. 